it's mostly movies, but we do deal with some of the cultural stuff that was going on at the time. You, you have, saw that in part one. We and, we do in part three and, and part four to a certain extent, what's going on. And, you know, and also how these would fit in to the cultural conversation now, like a movie like Night Shift would never get made today. You know, it's about these two guys who work in a morgue who end up, um, you, you know, hiring a bunch of prostitutes to, you know, set up a brothel in the county morgue. And, yeah, but- uh, brokers that's what they are they're love broker they're love brokers that's right they're not <laughs> yeah they're love and it's a great you know it's a funny movie and it was great we got ron howard and henry winkler talking about they still love it as they should and it's not a movie that got a lot of love on home video so it's so great that we could devote a lot of time to really doing a deep dive into that movie and henry was kind enough to share for the first time he hadn't even developed them his home movies from the set so that was really a joy for us obviously mm-hmm. you know henry and ron both have a reputation of being two of the nicest people in hollywood and i was not assuaged of that at all they were both just so cooperative so excited that we were spotlighting you know night shift and i'm really glad we did because it's a movie that can easily get overlooked and, and shouldn't not, not with us we that was a movie we rented all the time <laughs> we, you know you would go to the video store and i i feel like Night Shift was always one of those movies we selected. What what was your video going experience, you know, to rent videos in 82? Were you? Uh... Well, I worked at a video store in high school. I, I was, you know, my, my first job was not surprisingly working at a video store. And it was really hard for me because, you know, when I had a, you know, the, the boss would always say, well, whatever's in, that's what you recommend. And if we don't have it, you don't talk about it. And it's like, I hated like having to convince people like, you know, uh, you know, for like we didn't have Gone with the Wind. He would say, oh, tell them they rent Mogambo. And I'm like, I can't do that in good conscience. He said, I don't care. And it's like, you know, it's like, oh, Superman, you know, tell them, you know, so we don't have Superman, but they love Superman 4. It's like, no, they won't. And you know, people trusted that I would give them good advice. And I had a really difficult time, like just trying to pawn crap off on them. But, you know, I, what were the movies like, you know, for some reason, it was like Outland I, from 81. I would rent a lot. And, and, um, but from 82, I mean, certainly Blade Runner was a movie I looked at, uh, you know, a lot. Conan for some reason was very watchable. I mean, Star Trek II, you know, first day it was available, I bought it. You know, I saved up my allowance. Is that you know, you know when I went looking for that? I, 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 and, you know, found a store that had it in stock and bought Star Trek II. You know, so I probably wore out the spools out on that one. That's for sure. Um, so, you know, there, there, there were a bunch, but, you know, I also loved, you know, I, I was watching a lot of seventies films still at the time too, you know, because there's so many great seventies movies. So, you know, I'd be watching apocalypse now and, you know, obviously the Godfather and, and um, a lot of movies from the seventies as well as the movies from 82, but 82, there were a lot of movies that, you know, I would watch again and again and, and, and really enjoy, you know, I mean, it's interesting because you talk to people and, you know, everybody has a different film that means something to them. And there's some things and you're like, how do they love this movie? You just can't fathom the fact that they're obsessed with the movie. But there wasn't a movie that we covered where there wasn't somebody who is absolutely just a super fan, you know. And um, and and that was great because, I mean, I remember that year, probably watched Eating Raul a lot, which we barely touch on. And I really <laughs> like Eating Raul. Not a movie that people talk about a lot. And I... I, I, I um, Friend yeah. worked on that. Denny Tedesco was on that film. Film. I'll... Yeah, yeah, and Robert Beltran oh. and Mary Warnov and and Paul Bartel was uh, directed it. It's 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 good. It's a good black comedy.